Hey, what's up guys? It's Jay Madrid here with another video. Today we are going to unbox and install uh, the new Tesla style 13 inch radio for the Toyota Tundra 2014-2021 uh, edition. So let's get to it. The only complaint about, I have about this right now is that it took about a month to get here, which is terrible. But let's see. Gotta be careful with this. 13 inch. Tesla style screen. Put it over here on the side. Here's all the cables. Put this on the side. These are used for later. Actually, you can just put them on there. Just so you don't forget. First, I'm gonna this. This is, this is the this is the USB for the car. The adapter for the car USB. Definitely use that. Okay, this is the SIM card. This is for the the camera, the factory camera, which I'm pretty sure this goes in here first. Right here. First, let me show y'all. Is is a uh, ten pin. Yeah. Turn it tightly. Mm. This is the GPS. If you don't have an adapter, I bought an adapter, so I'm not gonna use this. But it will be right here. We'll show you later. I'll, pro I'll probably put a link in the uh, description about the adapters that I got. The GPS, so I don't have to use this one. This is the microphone. Uh, this already has a built-in microphone, so I'm not gonna use this. But if it ends up not working, you always have this. The two USBs. Supposed to be the, the single one. This is the only one that has the Android Play. So, yeah. This two other ones uh, don't do Android Play. Okay, so this, two USB connectors. This pin connects to the second slot on this. Now the single USB one for the uh, Android CarPlay goes on the third. Third slot, man. Okay, so for this, the power, you have to connect these two together. So you can tell. Get this. Do that click. Okay. We'll just connect this later because we'll just take a space in there. Okay, so for this is for, um, if you have a subsystem, a different, like a different sound system or anything like that, you use this, but you have to connect it either way. Just make sure you have it. This goes all the way, you see, all the way on the right. Okay. For these, for the, um, the factory USB, which is this is gonna go uh, connect to uh, in the car. I will connect it on the on the directions that this has to connect it to the one of the two, the one that has the two um, USBs. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna connect it to. It doesn't matter which one, I'm just connect it to USB one. There you go. Okay. Now I'm gonna connect the main power supply one. Okay. Right here. Okay. And then this one. Right here, you won't get any like, see how open the right like, okay, because it's not gonna turn up. It's not gonna tell you. Over there, over here, on the fourth slot. There you go. This is the uh, the car antenna, it goes right here. Okay, so this goes to aux, this is aux right, aux L for uh, your factory car auxiliary. We should go connect it to one of these. Let's see, aux. Aux in R, and this is right here. Aux in left right here. Connect it as such. And then the camera one, if you want to keep your factory camera, we'll connect to the first the first pin that we got, right there. And then you have one more connection, which is, let me see if I can find it. This one right here, which connects to the screen right here. There you go. All right, this is for this connector right here. It's for uh, your AC. All right, now we take this to the car and we plug and play with pretty much everything. All right. We are now in the car and what you want to do is you want to take off this handle right here so you have more space. Let's plug it in somewhere. Anything that's plugged in, you want to plug it out. So we're going to take all of this out. 
<clears throat> so you can use um, a flathead screwdriver, um, like the actual tools for uh, taking out pieces of your car, or like I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna put tape on this and use it so it doesn't scratch. A broken scissor. It's a little bit ghetto, but whatever works. So on the bottom, you wanna go on the sides. Okay, so now that we have it out, took a little bit longer than I thought. Um, we go to under here, let's pull it a little bit. And there you go, it comes out pretty easily. Um, you wanna disconnect this. I'll just put this to the side anyway. Okay, now, so to take out the actual radio, you're gonna have to have a 10 millimeter um, screwdriver. You're gonna have these two, and then there's two, one right there, one right there. And yeah, I'll get back to y'all after I take them out. So after you take them out, just take out carefully the radio, put it up here for the meanwhile, and then you start connecting to the new radio, which I'll bring it in right here. So now that we have the radio out, you just want to take out the pins and then plug and play. You, you want to make sure you want to, you take them out with the uh, little... Uh, what's it called latches or whatever not pulling from the cable so you don't mess up your car or mess up the cables so we're hard to take out so much easier That's so hard okay so now we have that out now you can just throw this away. No, I'm kidding. Just sell it or keep it for later, maybe. If something happens to the Tesla radio, I'm just going to put it to the side. Then you want to start plugging and playing. GPS. This thing. Nope. Yep. Yep. Okay, just turn it on. Okay, okay. I don't know where this one goes. There you go. I think it might be adapter for the USB. Yep. Yep. Um, let's see. This is the AC one. The AC one is the easiest one to find. So I got the wrong GPS adapter. I'll just send it back. Okay. For anything, you want to make sure that before putting it in, you want to make sure that it works. So let's see. Okay, so for the moment of truth, start up, start up the car. Okay. It actually tells you the RPM and stuff. Let's see. I'll push it up a little bit. Nice. Alright, let's see if the AC works. 
Now, now, it actually works. Turn up the heat, cold. Turn it down. Nice. Like how it's the Tundra. Um, navigation's not gonna work right now because of the fact that I got the wrong, um, what's it called, the adapter. Radio. Yep. Well, that turns up the AC too. Turn it down. Mode. What's for the AC? So the cam. The camera it works perfectly. Home. Okay. Um, okay. Settings. Some more. You can put the hotspot on. I'll just keep uh, playing with it and I'll come back to y'all. Okay, so I've been playing with it for like 10 minutes. And already connected to the to my hotspot, and um, connected to Bluetooth. So you go to CarLink, and then it gives you your Apple Play. We have the Wi-Fi and everything. You can go to your music, uh, playlist, library, songs. I'm not gonna play any because I don't want to get. Yeah. True by YouTube and stuff, but um, let's see. You have a lot of apps, and um, yeah, as long as you put the Wi Fi on and everything, you can use everything on it. Uh, I'm gonna mount it since it works perfectly, and um, uh, all I gotta do now is get the GPS to work the GPS um, adapter, and I'll probably. Do that soon. All right, so now we're mounted, and um, yeah, looks pretty freaking nice. Whenever you turn like your uh, night lights on and stuff like that, the color actually comes on. If you see on the sides and stuff, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, you can go to apps. You just connect to Wi-Fi. Make sure you're connected to your hotspot probably. Whenever you're out and about, YouTube. You can go to. Let's see. Search J Madrid. You know, you can see one of my videos. If it loads up since I'm, I'm connected to my hotspot and I'm recording on my phone, it's probably gonna take longer. Yeah, you can do that. Keep it on the side. Put another one. Then um, let's see. Um, and then you can customize all these buttons if you hold and stuff like that. Go to apps. I'm not connected to the uh, Apple Apple Play anymore. Um, but yeah, everything works. AC up, AC down. If you don't want to go all the way down here for it, volume up. If you don't want to do it. Um, some of them might work, some of them might not, because I don't have heater seats, so this probably would not work for me. Um, yeah, just everything is pretty worth it. Um, just let me know if you want me to do a video later on, telling y'all if um, things don't work, things that work. Um, anything that you need to ask, just ask in, on the comments. And yeah, just leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see y'all later.